Welcome back to Collectible Stonks. My name is Yamel. Glad to have you guys here. And today is a sad and happy day for me because I am happy that they're officially making a MetaZoo novel. Like an actual book is going to be published, uh, according to Mike, end of August, early September. Right? He just announced this a couple hours ago, a few hours ago. Um, and again, I have mixed react. I have mixed emotions to it. So I'm a big fan of their actual printed comic book graphic novel thing that they got going on. Um, and it's pretty sad to see that that's no longer going to be the case. Now there, there is, there was a question that was asked in the MetaZoo Hour whether we were ever going to see regular sized comic books for MetaZoo, and Mike said yes. So we'll see. <laughs> so um, we'll see about that. We'll see if we actually get you know regular sized comic books. Apparently they're in talks with some partner to get. All the stuff from the graphic novel or the illustrated novel over to uh, comic books. So that's really cool. If an actual an actual comic book is going to be dope. Now, the question that I have with the with the original illustrated novels now is, you know, what's going to happen to them, right? So, the price of a first print chapter one is roughly six hundred dollars in mint condition, right? Right now, you can actually go on eBay, um, and if we actually go to eBay, eBay has some of them up for. Uh, right now, there's two of them for roughly $100 each current bid. And this is for actual damaged novels, right? Um, there's another one, if we scroll down, this 350 with a damaged corner. Now, the thing is, because of a slight crease, it affects the grade of the overall comic. And for actual collectors of comics, I mean, the goal is to get either a 9.8 or a 10. I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to, especially with these newer comic books or these newer uh you know, illustrated novels, you definitely want to get that 9.8 because it's it's doable. It's possible, right? Um, only a thousand of these were ever printed. Um, and each iteration of comics after basically added more and more and more. If I remember correctly, the print run for Chapter 2 was like 5,000 copies, I believe, or something like that. Um, and those are those are print run number one, right? Not Not print run two and above. But... It really gets me thinking as to what's going to happen to this, because really th this is this is a cool piece of MetaZoo history, right? Now here's the thing: I don't, I didn't keep mine sealed. I actually, again, I sent mine off to grade. I actually got two of them that I sent off to get graded uh, through CGC. Unfortunately, because they're magazine sized, right? Uh, they get thrown into the magazine uh, graders, greater portion of CGC which just takes a tremendously long time compared to standard comic book submissions, right? I sent them back off in September. I've been waiting since then. I believe I'm gonna get one of them back this summer. And the second one I actually wanted to get pressed and, and all that good stuff because I did notice just a little bit of a crease on it. And obviously I wanna get the best grade that I can on it. Um, and so that one will likely not be back until late this year. Um, I've also sent off chapter twos. I have yet to do three or four. That's that's next on my list. Um, but you know, this just kind of, you know, it's kind it's kind of cool and it's kind of sad. It's sad because I really enjoy these, but it's really awesome that they're making an official book. Like that is that is awesome. Like good for them. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to the Metazoo team. Like that is awesome. And even awesomer, <laughs> in my opinion. Is that you know they're they're in talks with potentially turning this illustrated novel into an actual comic book, not just uh, you know you read a bunch of words and then you got some pictures in there. Like an actual comic book is going to be really really cool, um, and I would love to get that graded. That's going to be so cool. But you know these comic books, man, I still think they're severely undervalued. Only a thousand of these were printed, um, and. A lot of people aren't selling them. I mean, it's pretty rare that you find some of these for sale. And when you do, they're up $600 and above for a really good copy. Um, I see these. I can see these going up to the $1,000 mark um, probably within the next couple of years, especially if MetaZoo continues to grow. This is an actual piece of MetaZoo history. So that is going to be awesome. You know, so, eh, you know, just a little bit sad. So, so yeah, you know, it's... It's just, a, for me, it's a little bit sad because I really enjoy these, but I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to that book. I'm looking forward to the potential comic book, an actual comic book. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I just, 
good news and sad news, man. It's these are like the OGs. This, I mean, if you think about it, this, like the fact that one, it being an actual MetaZoo, like piece of history, because this was their first foray into printed media, right? Uh, now, for those of you guys that are collectors, investors, all that good stuff, uh, this is definitely one of those things you would want in your collection because this is, ah, it's it's so cool, man. Like it is, it is, it is definitely worth it to have in your collection. Um, they will only continue to go up, especially if, as, actually, especially when a the TV show comes out, b the games come out. And then any other sort of media that they have, in the, I mean, the books, the official, like, standard-sized comic books, this official illustrated novelization of that is going to be worth quite a bit. Now, again, this isn't financial advice, yada, yada, yada. This is just my opinion. I'm surprised a lot of people don't, I mean, I, I see people that don't seem to really like the, or don't seem to care too much about these. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just my subset of community that I've seen, right? Um... But definitely, you know, keep your eyes out for these comic books, man. Like, I'm telling you, they're they're definitely worth something, and they will definitely be worth something long-term, so long as MetaZoo continues to be successful, right? Really, really huge bummer that potentially after Chapter 6, there's no more printed comics, or printed, uh, you know, these are the first ones. <laughs> um, and who knows? It may not even be Chapter 6. It could be that Chapter 4 was the last one. Who knows if Chapter 5 or 6 were even already being printed. So potentially Chapter 6 will likely be the last one. Uh, as of right now, the official last one is Chapter 4, which is the first appearance of Loveland Frogman. Which, in the grand scheme of things, that's going to be huge for those of you guys who like to collect those type of, you know, comic books. Uh, you know, I know like... Spider-Man, Batman, all those stuff, whenever there's a first appearance of a new hero or something like that, those comic books tend to be worth way more than others. Um, so definitely consider getting them, you know, graded. Uh, consider them slabbing them, putting them on your, on your shelf, things like that, um, because they're awesome, man. They're definitely worth keeping for a while. Um, and I'm just, I'm torn, man. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, I'm excited for them. But, you know, I figured I'd make a real quick video regarding this and my thoughts on it you know do i see these comic books going up in price anytime soon yes in fact i'd say that by the end of the year these will likely go up another 100 bucks 200 bucks uh there's very little left in the market uh the people who have them tend to want to keep them in their collections and not sell um and again like i remember so i managed to get mine i bought one for like 150 bucks and this was like a month to, no this was this was a few months after they, they officially went on sale. And then I bought another one about a week or two later for about 200 bucks. And since then, they've just been going up, 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 up. And now we're at $600 for a near mint copy, $350 for a damaged copy. So, And I'll be honest with you guys, look, these damaged copies, they still hold value, right? Even, even if, let's say you were to buy a, a, a damaged copy, if you see this crease right here, Sometimes you can actually pay for the for the pressing service on these comic books on these you know printed medias, and your grade will increase because that that actually helped the comic book look better. So even some of these damaged ones would be a good pickup, and I'm actually considering some of these myself just to have extras to slab keep them long term um, because I, I personally think they're gonna be great 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 long term. Um, and I can't wait. I cannot wait for the anime. I cannot wait for the video games. When the video game releases, you bet your butt I'm going to go ahead and buy probably two or three copies, get a couple of them graded, and actually open one. This is assuming that they do physical release, which I really hope that they do. I really want a physical release game. I don't know what platforms are going to be making it for. Nintendo Switch would be awesome. <laughs> But I think a lot of the community members want like an old school Game Boy Advance, uh, Game Boy Color type cartridge game. Uh, we'll see what they do. You know, we'll see what they do. But definitely would love to get one of those graded um, for video games, video game grading. So anyways, that's it. You know, figured I'd share this monumentous occasion of my utter sadness and happiness that these books are potentially done with going forward. And that's it. You know, I guess now we'll wait for the actual book. 
Um, I may actually buy the book just because I like to keep some of the MetaZoo stuff around anyways. Um, but I have a soft spot for these right here, man. I'm telling you, I really like these. So we'll see what the future holds. Can't wait to hear any future future announcements regarding their printed media uh, because their storyline is pretty dang good. Um, can't wait to see the anime. Can't wait to hear when that's... I mean, that's supposed to be, what, coming out late this year, if that's the case? Or was it next year? I can't remember. It's coming out within the next year or two. I think it's 2023. So can't wait to start seeing, you know, snippets of, of trailers for the show. You know, I'm totally stoked, y'all. But anyways... That's it. Thank you guys for checking out my small little sad rant of how I really love these comic books and why you should too. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.